There was a time not so many years ago when Oceanside's tourist brochure showed you this picture and invited you to sink your toes into miles of crystal sand beach. That invitation may still stand, but today tourists are hard put to find the beach. For more than 10 years now, Oceanside has been fighting a losing battle, trying to keep some of its once beautiful beach out of the grip of waves and the tide. In some places now, there's no beach at all. In others, it's been reduced to a thin strip of sand surrounded by rocks. For the city's summer tourists, it all comes as a big shock. The rocks bother me a lot, quite a bit, especially if you're going in the water and they're on your feet, it really hurts. I thought the beach would be fairly clear, you know, like it is in most beaches. The sand started leaving Oceanside's beaches after the Navy dredged a boat basin at Camp Pendleton during World War II. Now, most of it ends up there. People continually suggest ways to stop the erosion and bring back the sand, but a permanent solution is yet to be found. And until it is, Oceanside will continue to suffer from its paradoxical problem. It's a beach resort with very little beach. Do you get complaints from tourists who uh, come down here because they want to come to the beach uh, during the summer and then find that it's filled with rocks? Yes, we do. We get our normal complaints of, uh, of the problems and our motel owners are unhappy and certainly we, uh, we do get those complaints. But all you can do is say we're going to try to fix it, it's going to take some time. Yes, we're uh, through our annual dredging each year with our harbor, we get sand that's put back on the beaches and hopefully that uh, it will stay there through the summer seasons. The federal government has already admitted it's probably responsible for what's happened to Oceanside's beach, but it's taking its own sweet time doing anything about it. The Corps of Engineers planned some studies next year, but those are only studies. After that, who knows? Which I guess goes to prove once again that you shouldn't mess with Mother Nature. This is Gene Gleason reporting for TV8 News in Oceanside.